All right, then we will begin in three, two, one, fight. Robot one hiding around the red side there, now coming in through the center. Instantly going for the lifter. Got to make sure Curtis can't turn around and sell that one later. Oh, can't quite get to it though, actually. That lifter on the front, making a nice little wedge. Unfortunately, Aurora can't lift it at the moment, but it is a good little wedge finger keeping the spinner away as uh, instantly a chunk goes flying off the corner of the acrylic front there on lift. But uh, Roar is trying to keep him pressed up against that blue push out she's got there. Getting around the side, now behind Robot 1, dangerously close to that blue hazard. And looks like uh, looks like Connor having a little bit of trouble controlling it, especially with that spinning weapon on top. Making it a little bit difficult, taking a couple more little chunks out of there. And Aurora's trying to, trying to get him against that blue hazard, but a little difficult. Got the, the grab. Well, even on the, she's on the correct corner, but still when he's counter steering like that, can't quite get him to go the direction that she wants. And now Connor, once again, hiding behind the blue hazard. I'm not sure what he's waiting for. Maybe trying to get the right moment. But Aurora's not going anywhere. She's just going to line up another push against him, see if she can get underneath that front. Trying to be careful not to expose the, uh, the softer sides because that lifter is definitely the thing keeping the weapon away from her and keeping her safe. And you can see just enough space there that Spin can't quite make contact with her as long as she is, or not Spin, sorry, Robot 1, as long as she is completely face-to-face. -face. Real shame the lifter isn't working, though, because otherwise, doing a great job of keeping underneath the front, getting it uh, positioned well, and so just hoping to be able to get things lined up to be able to get a push out at some point here. But both robots have similar downforce, similar ability to push, so unless you can get them off their wheels for a moment, really difficult to... Um, get anything other than just a stalemate in a pushing match. If Connor can get around a side or something like that, should be able to use that powerful weapon against the bot, but just having a lot of trouble because Aurora knows what she's doing here. She's keeping the front faced towards the other bot, keeping it away from getting up, you know, tires and sides and all those sorts of juicy parts. 50 seconds still on the clock. As they're both trying to get a little something going. Robot 1's weapon just humming away, but just cannot get lined up. And unfortunately, I think a little bit too slow on the motors. Uh, doesn't have the mobility to get around the opponent and, and face it fast enough. Aurora is always able to turn and, and keep her uh, that front against it to keep the weapon away. It'll be really difficult to get any kind of traction on there. 20 seconds still to go in the three-minute match. Unless we get a sudden push out here, it'll almost certainly be down to a judge's decision. Although it is getting close to that new push out there but without the lifter both bots don't really have a good way to be able to uh, knock their opponent off balance four three two one and time's up that's the end of the match congratulations to both drivers and this will go to a judge's decision and it's unanimous the win goes to lift congratulations aurora